Hello, I'm Laura from Leeds University Library Galleries. Welcome to today's Two Minute Treasure. You might know the name William Morris as a 19th century designer. His designs for wallpaper and fabrics are still known today. But Morris was also a poet, a craftsman, a novelist and social activist. He championed the principle of handmade production and in 1891 founded a printing press, the Kelmscott Press, in Hammersmith in London. Between 1891 and 1898, the Kelmscott Press published over 50 works, totalling around 18,000 editions. Morris drew inspiration from early printed books from the 15th century and wanted to use high quality materials and hand printing methods, in contrast to the poorer quality books that were being printed by mechanised presses at the end of the 19th century. Every detail, from materials to design, was considered to create harmony between all the elements. Morris designed new type based on historic examples and intricate border designs. He sourced handmade paper for the press and high quality ink. The spacing of the letters, words and lines, widths of the margins and placement of the text, images and borders on the page were carefully planned. He worked closely with the artists who produced illustrations. One of his close collaborators was his lifelong friend, artist Edward Byrne Jones, and the results of their partnership can be seen at their most magnificent effect in a book published in 1896 that is seen as the crowning achievement of the press. The works of Geoffrey Chaucer brings together Morris's love of medieval literature and the aims he had set out in his vision for the Kelmscott Press. In this large book, Chaucer's Canterbury Tales are decorated with 87 woodcut illustrations by Burne Jones, engraved by William Harcourt Hooper. Morris designed the intricate borders, initials, type and layout. 425 copies were printed on paper and 13 on vellum. 48 copies, one of which you can see here, were bound in white pigskin with silver clasps. Morris and Byrne Jones worked on the book for four years. The first copies were printed just a few months before Morris died. Byrne Jones wrote, When Morris and I were little chaps at Oxford, if such a book had come out then we should have just gone off our heads. But we have made at the end of our days the very thing we would have made then if we could. <laughs>